Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today we got a brand new product to test out. It's from AK Interactive and it's Super Chrome. I, it comes in this box. The thinner for it or cleaner doesn't come in the box. It came just like this. Um, this is an alcohol based ink. And I'm guessing this is probably closer to Molito. And then uh, most of the others I've tested, I've tested all. I've tested an acrylic, uh, enamels. I think we tested all kinds of these. But um, I believe this is more uh, cl closer to uh, uh, what you would find in a marker. But um, let me show you the stuff here. And it's easy to open this up to show you guys. All right, let's see if we get this. Yeah. See it? And it's not, it looks like uh, no matter how much you shake it, it, it always looks like this. I, the, the second I opened it when I got it, it was just, it was already ready to go. It looks like it doesn't require shaking, which is usually uh, what you get with these inks, alcohol inks. Yeah. Now, the big draw with this is, let me smell. Not a strong smell. Very lightly. I think this bottle of rubbing alcohol actually smells more than this. Yeah, it's not a strong smell at all. Uh, the thinner smells even less. It smells like watered down alcohol. So, uh, but it doesn't require thinning. Uh, let's see if I can hold up the directions for you guys. Here we go. Get this light down here. See it? Oh, there we go. Special ink with permanent finish, 100% glossy chrome effect of total coverage. No primer required, but a black primer can be used as a base. Paint on smooth surfaces for a better finish. Now, um, we're going to do a brush test also. That's another draw with this is it can be brushed on. And um, that's something we're going to try. We're going to do both. Um, I don't, I guess the thinner is to clean it out of the airbrush. Early test for me shows the, uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, clean the brush off instantly. So, I mean, it, it took it right off, you know, this is especially to be used with super chrome, but it doesn't say to thin it or anything, you know, especially formulated to create a perfect consistency for brush and airbrush use. So, uh, maybe we'll thin it out. We'll spray it out of the bottle and then we'll thin it out. We'll try it both ways and we'll do that. Uh, what we're going to do is, because it doesn't require over a base, we will spray some and paint some over uh, black. We'll brush some on this rudder piece from a kit, and then we'll airbrush one. We'll see the difference there. And then we'll try thinning it and try it at each end and uh, see what we get. Uh, also, we'll try it on some Gumpla pieces. This is just blue. We're going to not even put anything on it. We're going to just paint over that. And then we'll try uh, on some strips of plastic and, of course, good old spoons. We'll do that, too. Um, let me get the camera back. There we go. All right. So let us start with brushing some on. Oh, spilled some. Be careful with the cap. I'm in fact, now nah, I'm going to go like that. I was going to say, why do I need to do that? But um, make sure we don't get this on anything. But I want to dip the brush. I'm just going to dip the brush right into the package. So let's go ahead and pick one of these rudders here. Oops, playing chopsticks. All right, here we go. Now I'll do uh, straight out of the bottle. Let's get the camera back where it was. There we go. And let's see what we get. And maybe uh, I'll change the brush too. It goes on kind of like the uh, chrome marker from Mr. Color, the Gundam markers. That's what it seems to be going on like. Not much else I can do. I guess it's going to dry as it's going to dry. So we'll let that sit. Yeah, it looks just like the marker. All right, let's clean this brush. We'll change the brush and we'll thin some of the paint. But let me show you how well this thing cleans up with the alcohol. Look at that. It just comes right off. All right, let me wipe this. Beautiful, nice and clean. All right. 
Let me grab another brush. We're going to go a little wider this time. There we go. And then what we're going to do is let's thin it a little bit. So let's get some here. And let's go ahead and use the cap as it's supposed to be used. There we go. All right, now let's try some of their thinner and see if there's a difference. I don't want to thin it too much. It's pretty thin as it is. All right. Well, let me get one of my little coffee stirrers. There we go. Now let's see if this brush is any different. I'm going to say, let's get this... Uh, one second, guys. One second. We're going to grip this with uh, one of my clips. There we go. Now we can do it. Oh, sorry, guys. Hit the camera again. Always bumping that camera. All right, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, it goes on a little different, but I don't know if it's going to dry with that shine that we're looking for. Might be too thin. No, I don't know. No, we'll let that sit. All right. We'll let that sit. All right, I will put this cup here, and that will tell me that that was the thin side. All right, let's clean off this brush. Look at the metal. You can see the metal flake floating in there. See it? Not metal flake, but you guys know what I mean. All right. Okay, let me clean this brush off. All right, now it's time to head over to the booth. Let me straighten my camera. All right, well, uh, we'll use my Badger Patriot here. This is my .5. It didn't give any instructions as to what to use, but without thinning it, I guess I'm going to go straight through that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin it, and we're going to put it into a small area. We'll go to a .3, and that's what we're going to do. We'll spray a few things, and... Um, We'll let it dry and we're going to get the results. But for now, let's head over to the booth and test this through an airbrush. We're also going to, this is why this is sitting out here. Wasn't crazy about this guy, but I knew it'd come in handy for something. What I think we're going to do here is, uh, look at this guy. Is that defective or what? Now i got to heat this thing up and bend over his uh, fin. Anyway, I think we'll just take an arm here and we're going to spray... I mean, this thing is really just a statue. The gun's molded into the hand. It's just, it was, I think it was on sale, so I grabbed it. Let's take an arm like this. I'm going to paint this right over with this stuff. This is a weird rubber, so I'm going to see how this, uh, this stuff sticks to this odd material. So we'll try that. We'll spray that arm and see what we get. That's why you saw that uh, Zaku sitting out there. So let's get the rest of this out. And what we're going to do is... I've sprayed some and let it dry. We're going to go ahead and try some candy over. We're going to put this clear red from Tamiya over it and see if that works and see how it looks. So we're going to spray this and a few pieces and some spoons. This little guy here, this hair. Let's head over to the booth. We'll do some uh, straight out of the bottle, some pre-thinned. I mean, some we're going to thin ourselves. And then we'll break it down and look at them, and we're going to compare them to all the other brands too. So... Let's go to the booth and check it out. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. I got the Super Chrome with me. I got a bunch of pieces here. Uh, we'll do a few out of the bottle, and then we'll do a few thinned out and see if there's a difference. Um, I brought this to show you guys that I'm going to go straight out of the bottle for this one. So here we go straight in. Um... I sprayed a couple of things when I first got it. I, I like to discover this stuff in real time with you guys in the video. Uh, so I don't like to go too far off camera, but I found that it needs... It's not like all clad, where you go real super light coats. Um, this actually likes to go on heavy. And um, for that reason, I chose the, the Badger. But uh, I'm going to show you how it doesn't matter what it goes over. So here we go. Check 
that out. Hey, you can see me. Look at that. Now, over any base, so we're going to go here with, uh, blow any dust off this, this gumpla piece. This is just like putting a marker on it. That's about, let me put this aside, that's about as easy as it gets. As far as prep goes, let's try it over this rudder so we can compare it with the brush on. It, it doesn't look right until it gets its heavy coat. It's really weird. And I let it dry lightly and it didn't improve anything. So uh, it's got to go on heavy. See it? Now we'll let it go. That's good. Still a lot in the cup. It goes on really fast. Put that aside. All right, here's a big test. Let's try it over this uh, rubbery arm piece and see if it covers the red. good job why oh, I could take some of these old kits I'm not crazy about and just chrome plate these things and put them back on the shelf it, it sprang beautifully through this badger I gotta say look at that that is nice Wow Wow all right. Now I'll show you. We're going to go over. This is a gray primed back of a gloss spoon. I just want to show you guys that it just doesn't matter where it goes on. Some dust on it. I should have grabbed that. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't matter what it goes over. Here is that strip. Yeah, it's going to lay down really heavy. I'm not quite sure why. I'm going to blind you with the camera. i put that aside. This is uh, just a silver plastic spoon. I'm trying to go half, just do half the spoon. There we go. There we go. Now, let's see a difference if it's thinned. I'm going to thin some of this up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here it is thinned. I put it in here. I put like 10 drops of the thinner to really thin it up so we can hopefully get a difference. If not, then that's good. Then you'll just need the thinner for cleaning. Um, all right, let's go right ahead and try it on another black spoon, thinned. It doesn't look right until it goes on heavy. It's hard. You guys did it in person. You'll, you'll see what I mean. All right. That's uh, the black. It looks like it's not going on as well. I'll show you at the, uh, the bench. I'm going to keep the cup next to it so it tells me it's the thinned one. So until I mark it down. All right. Let's try it over the gumpla piece. Let's blow off any dust. It looks really good. Yeah, we'll see how it drives. Looks pretty good, though. All right, let's try it over some primer. Here's uh, this is my new Air Force, my Mecha Empire Air Force Blue Primer. Let's see if it likes primer. Uh, not too bad. Not bad. I'm getting dust particles or bits in it where I don't see it. I'll show you at the bench. It looks like uh, 
It might have to be strained or something. It's weird. But overall, still decent. Here's one of my deli spoons. Just gonna go over the white. Yeah, Sin reacts a little differently. It's hard to explain. It's leaving little spots. But uh, I would stick with straight out of the bottle, but that's just me. We'll, we'll check it out at the end. Um, there's no sense in testing it. I was going to show you over all different stuff, but no matter what I spray it on, it comes out the same. It doesn't require any base, and for that, it tells you that uh, it's just ready to go over anything. I mean, here's... Uh, this is Hester's uh, primer, gloss primer in the spray can. So yeah. All right, we'll let these dry. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare them to all the chromes I've tested so far. They're at the bench already. And um, I'm gonna flush this out with some of their thinner and I'm gonna put some of the uh, some alcohol through this and at the very end I'm going to shoot through some uh, uh, acetone to dry it out and that's what I'm going to clean it out with it looks it cleans out pretty easy for my early test so it, it shoots right out um, all right anyway we'll head back at the bench and we'll go over the results surprise we're not at the bench I forgot to uh, test uh, this clear to me over it. So uh, I went ahead and thinned this with the alcohol that it, uh, I was cleaning the brush out with. This, I switched guns to my Evolution, my Harder and Steenbeck Evolution. This is some I painted on already and it's dried overnight. Let's see what we get. I just want to make sure it's uh, it's compatible, you know. And it looks like it's a no. Oh, well, wait a minute! It seems to be leveling off, which is weird. Oh, hard to see. All right, we'll put that aside. All right. dry see if it dries properly and uh, we'll go over it at the bench looks all right Oop, like that there we go all right guys let me clean this out and we'll go over the results all right guys here we are back at the bench and we're gonna go over the results all right okay this side is brushed I mean uh, this is thinned these were brushed and I got some brushing samples from earlier this was the sprayed on. Let's go straight in and look at the, uh, this is a little, just a black spoon. It didn't matter what it goes over. It's identical. It does not matter. It just doesn't need anything. But remember how shiny it was. You could see me clearly, my, me and my blue shirt. You can kind of see my blue shirt now, but what happened? Uh, it was a mirror before. And this is what I found out as I was testing a couple of times. When I first got this in uh, on Monday, um, not happy that it dulled itself out. But uh, in certain circumstances, it, it looks really good. Now this is over the plastic rudder. So, now, brushed, it just doesn't work. It uh, says you can brush it, but I've tried this a few times. This is the closest I could get, and this is a good sample for you guys. Uh, this was airbrushed. This was brushed, and you can see how <laughs> it doesn't look right. Let me see if I can get a nice shot for you guys. Hold on. You can 
some backing paper here. See, it's all, it's horrible. It, it, it tried it in little, now I guess if you do little chrome dials and stuff, if you're doing a dashboard on a car kit, look at the, the, uh, the airbrush one's perfect. So, um, a little disappointing that it says it can be brushed. It can be brushed, but uh, not like Green Stuff World. Now, Green Stuff World has a separate jar that says to be brushed and a separate one to be airbrushed, to be fair. But their brushed on is superior. Um, might as well grab, jump in. This is my Green Stuff World, and it's just it's just perfect. I couldn't find my other one. I look at it. It's just it's just flawless. So big difference there. Now, um, it doesn't matter what I'm going to show you at all. It just it has that same tone, except for a little bit on this hand. But I think that's because there's a lot of angles. You know what I mean? It still kind of doesn't have that shine. It still looks like this. It's just because there's all these points and angles. It kind of looks. It's giving you shades and shadows. and so, yeah, so it looks. But I do like this quite a bit. This one on this kit, this is like a plastic, not resin, but you know that kind of rubbery stuff? really went on well it sticks well and it required nothing i mean i could you could just take a kit and just build the whole kit and spray this and you have like a chrome statue uh, this is pretty impressive for this application alone where you don't have to prime with gloss black you could just load it up and it just dried perfect this is the best example i can give and how nicely it laid down on this gumpla piece if we can get the light over here both better look at that so it dried quickly um, it's fairly durable now I tried to put a gloss coat over it which is aqua gloss for chrome and it just it just hazed it and dulled it out it I mean it protects it but uh, you really lose the whole look of it completely so I, I recommend leaving it alone as far as durability, we're going to try that right now. Um, what was painted? Okay, here's a Gumpla piece. This is from the Leo. It's actually green. Oh, there you go. That's what it looked like before I painted it and it just took it off the sprue, the runner, and painted it. Now, it's not chrome. It's just it's a shiny silver, but it really looks like metal. It really is nice. Um, it's It just isn't super chrome. You can see no matter what you do, it looks the same. But... Uh, Let's try off camera if I got some tape. Yeah, here's my famous Tamiya tape I always use. Um, this has been around a bit, so let's see if it comes off. It does, All right? So this this has been sitting about a day and a half, two days, and it, it took it off with uh, masking tape. So I'm not, you know, as far as scratching, uh, you know what? It's more durable scratching it. It takes a little bit of a beating. Not many of these combs do. But I say if you build it, you're just going to pose it. You're going to do parts inside a car engine. It, it has a great look. It doesn't brush well. So let's look at it thinned. Here it is. Uh, it's about as merry as I can get. Merit as I can get it. I want to blind in you guys. But still, it has a, a dullness to it after it dries. I'm not crazy about it. This is thinned. No difference. A lot of pits in it. I think that's because of the thinning. I don't know. Here it is brushed again now here it looks just like the chrome marker from uh, mr. color the, the, the Gundam markers it looks just like it but still it speckles itself out I don't know if you can go over it twice I loaded up this one a little more than this side you can tell and that's what we got but not bad this really would be good for highlights um, for car kits I, I think you know dashboards and stuff this is thinned over white again it looks the same but I'm getting this pitting but it could have been the spoon I'm having a lot of trouble with my spoons but still no real difference it's a little slightly more of a shine let's try the black this is the best comparison yeah it's, it's there's no real difference there was no difference it didn't like the primer it dulled right out over the over a primer a lacquer primer so that didn't do well let's try it over the gumpla piece now this looks great but then again it looks no different so thinning is a waste of time but then again you could probably stretch it right stretch your dollar it wasn't cheap it was 15 it's cost me almost 40 bucks for these two, but that's with shipping, so I'm guessing it was 30, 30 bucks for the two. Probably 15 a piece, I can look it up, and then uh, 8 bucks to ship it, so it was almost 40 bucks. It wasn't cheap. So if you stretch it out, then uh, 
you can get a value for your money there but it looks good it looks good either way uh, this is it with the Tamiya red over it not bad it took it you know that actually probably make it more durable because the Tamiya is much more durable than this so yeah whoever asked me in the questions below it will take the Tamiya clears which means it'll probably take most of the clears now let's compare this we lost our new here let's compare this to uh some past combs that i've tested first of all here comes the king all right in my opinion anyway you guys hear that song here comes the king i think dirty shirley uh getting off of my music tangent here uh, george lynch guitarist for former guitarist for Dokken. it's his new band i think it's dirty shirley here comes the king phenomenal song a great great lead singer with a great guitarist i mean here we go here is green stuff world's chrome brush on which i showed you airbrushed on this is airbrush it's the same right yeah it's just i just happen to have two spoons here we go i mean <laughs> there's no difference here it just it just kills it now that said this arm does look it just looks phenomenal on this sprayed arm don't you think now, it's a whole different look but this arm is really the highlight so far of this test. Over this uh, black rudder looks good too. But again, it looks more like a polished aluminum or a steel than it is a uh, chrome. All right. That's Green Stuff World. Uh, this is Duralumin. Duralumin. All right. Not quite on the level of Green Stuff World, but still, still shinier. That's Duralumin, and I also have Duralumin Tough. This is supposed to be super durable stuff. I spray this. I'm letting it dry because this is coming up in a test. I want to see how tough it really is. So I'm let, letting this dry for a few weeks, and then uh, I'm going to put it to the test. But that's it next to its right there. And this is the regular Duralumin. It still looks better, but maybe you lose a little something to get it you know, tough. We'll call it that all right that's those now here's all my chromes display oh man what is that that's that's nah, still kind of shiny but it's a whole different look all right what is this super metallic chrome silver this is from mr hobby that's actually closer to it look at much closer to it for about four bucks a jar this is display super silver that's closer to it here we go. This would be the test. Molotov. Molotov. Yeah, that's close. Let's see if I can buff this out. This Molotov has been dried for like months. Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah, that's close. Molotov looks just like it. Uh, oh, this is AK. Let me show you this. This is AK. This is their Extreme Metal series. And this is their chrome. So this is the same brand. This is their uh, enamel base, I think. This is an enamel. So looks more chrome here than the new one. Again, don't compare it to the arm. The arm looks phenomenal. All right. Spaz. This is Spaz. I think it's over what? No, this is Spaz over silver. All right. That's close to it. The only real chrome ones are... Uh, my traditional was well, all clad chrome look at that that's beautiful is that black chrome oh look at that super metallic 08 plate silver oh that's uh it's like a polished version of that all right polished aluminum from all clad look at that you can see my hand right there that even though it's not chrome looks more chrome close but you know i'm holding my hands up and wiggling see how it's a little foggy in this one and much clearer in this one moto chrome with a light coat over black there you go so it's black black chrome now don't forget these require a glossy black base where this requires nothing straight all clad chrome another one Look at that one. That's that's the black chrome. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. 
you can see my overhead lighting in it. Beautiful thing. You can't even see it in here. All right. I don't know who that is. I think it's another black chrome. Hey, another all clad chrome. I have a lot for testing. I did a lot because I wanted to test durability. It's another spaz. This is a heavy coat. I put a heavy coat. So I put like three coats of it to see. And it's still, you can see me better in, oh, sorry guys, I'm waving over the camera. You can still see me better. Molotov, again, which is its closest. Yeah, it looks just like it's over blue. I could tell I had blue underneath, but it looks like it doesn't matter. Just like this, it didn't matter what was underneath. It's all clad black chrome again. Nice example. I mean, that's hard to compare because it's really so dark. But the winner really is is the Green Stuff World. I mean, that is just the best. Nothing compares to my Green Stuff World. Let me get these out of the way. All right, guys. That goes the test. And, uh, yeah, it really shines here the best. I mean, this is it straight over a Gumpla piece. And it just looks beautiful over them. If you're not going to handle it and you don't want a mega shine, but enough that it looks like polished metal it's just not it's just not chrome like i'm looking for but you're going to get a nice looking steel no work required out of the jar onto the piece no primer no gloss base nothing and uh you are going to get great results um but if you want a high 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 chrome uh the winner here still is green stuff world it's my favorite and uh Almost tied with it is all clad. All clad is still great. And um, I'm testing a few more. I have E7. This is their special. This is their chrome. Uh, what else do I have up here? I have this. I just tested. Look at how nice that is. This is from Zero. But I'm a little hesitant to put it up because you can only get this in the UK. Had to have it shipped. Yeah, I mean, it came pretty quickly. This spot model company is awesome. But uh, look at that. That's an early test on that. That is really nice. And don't forget, these, these guys do only scale cars. So it's got to look like it belongs in a smaller car kit, not a bright mirror. And it makes the car look a little toyish. But that is a really nice chrome from them. Um, I also have, hold on, guys, from Gravity. This is the chrome effect. McLaren. This is a set. They give you the black and the chrome. This test is coming up. So I have tons, tons more chrome to test. Too much. Oh, check this out. Finishers from uh, Japan. I got their fine silver and their chrome. So this is coming up. What is this? Formula chrome. So I got all three chromes that Finishers makes to try those. You know, those are from Japan. Great brand, by the way, but uh, just a little tricky to get in America. So I'm hesitant to put some of these tests up. Anyway, guys, that is the test. Um, yeah, I do like it. It was easy, particularly if I'm going to spray something and make a whole statue chrome. It's fantastic. Even one of their demos was a Silver Surfer uh, resin guy, and they just sprayed the whole thing with it right out of the bottle, and it looked beautiful. So um, if you're going to use it for those purposes, uh, I say go to it. it. It's not bad. I say you probably don't need this. You could probably clean it out with alcohol and uh, a shot of acetone would clean it out. If you want the set like I did, you know. Um, no harm in it at all. It has no, almost no smell, which is really good if you want to avoid acetone altogether. Um, I got a little bit of a special announcement to make. I have a, a couple things on their way in. I have a new spray booth, a uh, supersized spray booth, steel construction, very nice, custom made, and um, excited to. I'm going to unbox that and set it up and test it on camera hopefully next week. It's on its way today. I got the tracking number, so we're really excited for that. And I have an incredible giveaway for you guys coming up. Um, let me see if I can give you guys a sneak peek on this. Hold on, guys. All right, let me see if I can pull the camera out. Hold on, guys. There we go. So I can fit this in camera. All right, I'm going to back the camera up. Sorry for the sway a little bit there. Oh, hold on. pull it. There we go. You ready for this? It comes in a slip box. It just came in. It's coming from... Straight to me, straight to whoever wins it. Oh, look at this. A Vallejo, a Vallejo, however you say it. A full set. Not quite a full set, but this is how they sent it. 
Look at this, guys. Of their model air lineup. Look at this. Game air lineup, brother. Is that fantastic? It's got primers in it. And uh, all the bright colors. And this stuff is uh, airbrush ready. It's awesome. Comes with some thinner. It's got uh, gloss coat, satin, mars uh, matte coat, semi-gloss, all the primers, all the colors. I love some of these colors too, man. I really do. Alien purple. I have this myself. And uh, is that going to be a fantastic gift for one of you guys out there? That's going to be awesome. So that is coming up. Hopefully within a week, I'm going to give that away. And uh, I think I might even have a few more items to give away. I'm, I might have an air compressor that I'm going to test, and I think I'm going to give it away too. So uh, we lost a few things here. Anyway, guys, that is a little sneak peek. I'm going to be testing the AK in the bag very soon. I got my testing every white brand of paint I have here in the room. That's coming up. And uh, I just got in this colors for my lineup of Mecha Empire. And uh, to show you how beautiful this. Look at this. This is salt. This is my black pepper metallic. Look at that. Is that awesome? And then I gotta do this cherry cola. I'm gonna spray this. So I'll put that up on a quick video to show you guys the new colors there. And please, if you haven't already, watch my video on my new Air Force paints, my lacquers. Um, selling well, according to the distributor. So uh, I'll put a link below for these. These are my uh, new airbrush ready paints. These are my lacquers. They just came out. Uh, haven't been, hasn't even been a week. But uh, if you haven't watched the video, please go watch the video. And um, I'm going to do the white test soon. I'm going to do the AK soon. I'm going to do uh, the AOK -OK test also. So those three are coming up very soon. And we're going to have the spray booth video soon. And in one of those videos will be the giveaway for the Vallejo box set and uh you want to be around for that baby all right guys thanks for sticking around we'll see you in the next few days with another video i'll put a link for these in the description below and uh also for my mecca empire paints uh if you want to support the channel please buy some of the paint it helps in supporting uh of the channel so i can continue on and uh please like the video if you haven't already and please subscribe really if you haven't already as we're trying to reach the 50,000 subscriber mark. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around and enjoying the video. And we will, of course, see you in the next video.